Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to learn to model the structure, this structure which is shown here in ETFs in Fofon 3D with the help of node elements. Basically, Fofon 3D is a very powerful and specialized tool for uh, nonlinear modeling and analysis as well as performance based design of the structure. It is developed by Computers and Structure in Corporation USA, which is also a developer of SAP 2000, ETAPS, and so many other softwares. Perform 3D basically follows the procedure recommended by ASC 41 guidelines, but it is not only limited to this. It's a general tool for implementing the capacity-based design and displacement-based design. The concept of these two designs will be explained later, but now let me open Perform 3D. This is the window of Perform 3D. Basically in Perform 3D, there are two options to open the structure, uh, to open to start a new structure or to open the existing structure. For now, let me start a new structure. This is the overall information dialog box. We have to assign the structure name and we have to select the units. But we should keep in mind that the units should be consistent in every stage of the work modeling phases. And the location of the structure folder should be chosen while saving the structure. For now, I, I choose this folder, write some description of the structure and the spacing between the nodes should be kept whatever you want and the save changes every 5 minutes mean the structure can be saved within the interval of 5 minutes. So no need to save the structure again and again uh, and a timely manner but if you need to save it within the duration of five minutes you can uh, save the structure but if you forget to save the structure it can automatically saves uh, what you have done within that five minute time frame if you choose the five minute time so let me click ok the structure name already exists so I put 3D L okay this is the overall dialog box for Fofon 3D basically in the menu we see here phase after the file in Fofon 3D basically there are two phases the first phase is to build phase or modeling phase the second phase is analysis phase. At first, we have to go for build phase. In the build phase, this is the overall information of the structure we just made. And after that, the node tab comes. In the node tabs, we draw the nodes, we assign the nodes for the structural elements. After that, there is component properties. This one is element properties. This one is for frames, uh, story levels, assigning the loads, export and import data, drift and drift sections, sections, structure section means where we cut the section, we cut the f uh, forces or stress on that section, limit state, etc. So, for now, let me start with the node elements. In the node elements here, we have node support, masses, and constraint. So for the node, there are options to put the, to assign the nodes as a single node element. The nodes can be interpolated. The nodes can be duplicated uh, in the form of grids. We can move the nodes and the nodes can also be deleted so let me start first with the node element single node element so if we turn into the e tabs 
for the coordinates here let me start with this column the first point is 451 and 0 it means in uh, it has the first coordinate coordinate is x coordinate this one is the y and last one is the z coordinate but for uh, for from 3d x coordinate is uh, known as h1 coordinate similarly y coordinate is s2 coordinate and z coordinate is b coordinate so let me assign the coordinate 450 119.9 and 0 okay we got the node here similarly for another nodes in h1 direction 3950 and other coordinates are same 3950 119.9 and zero these coordinates can also be duplicated but here i am drawing i am assigning the coordinates again for the last one along the h1 direction 7950 okay let me put 7950 119.9 and zero yeah we got the coordinates along the h1 direction for three column base so after we assign these three nodes this can be duplicated along the s2 direction or along um, the z direction or v direction so turning into s2 direction i go here the coordinates of s2 is 3569.9 here 3569.9 and if we left these two h1 and v blank by default it takes zero okay the coordinates are assigned for second column nodes along the y2 direction or s2 direction again for another one let me go for another column base which is 6569.9 6569.9 okay and finally for the last one it's 9769.9 9769.9 okay the coordinates are the nodes for the base of the columns are already drawn here for going upwards we have to duplicate these coordinates along the z coordinates or b direction here looking into perform e tabs the flow rate is 3000 meter so let me duplicate 3000 mm sorry mm okay then after that for the first floor it is 6000 mm and for the second floor it's 9000 mm so here all the coordinates are drawn after this let me turn into element tab here in element tab we have to add element for these nodes so before adding element we have to define the element group so for defining the element group let me start a new element group here we have the option to choose the element there are so many element group for now at first let me choose the beam to draw the beam elements so the geometric nonlinearity should be turned off for uh, uh, horizontal element and let me click ok after that we have to go for column element column element and finally for our structure we have to go for slab or shell element we have only three element group here in this simple structure and after assigning the element group here we have to add element so go to add tabs there are five options for the beams and column and four options for the slab to add the elements the first one is sequence we have to uh, choose the nodes like this for case of series select the nodes like this straight line and the grid option at first i go for a straight line and let me draw the column element here choosing this as initial point and two or final point like this okay 
this is the column element uh, drawn here similarly other column element can be done okay all the column elements have been drawn so after this let me turn into beam element okay select the beams for the beam element we can choose any one of these five option so for now let me choose the grid option to draw little bit first okay let me choose the beam element grid elements if we assign the no, uh, uh, select the nodes like this format vertical element can be drawn but we need the horizontal element beams so i can go in this format for this i can choose point one here then two is here three and four okay these are the beam elements drawn on the grid basis similarly here okay this one and this one okay again here here this one and this one okay okay the beams and the columns elements have been drawn so let me choose the slab element okay for the slab element i can choose this grid option to draw the uh, slab in better way one two three and four okay yes similarly one two three four okay then one two three four okay S so all the elements have been drawn but looking into your tabs the in the top floor there are only three panels of slab so we have to delete the slab element the st structural component here so these these and these element have to be deleted for the uh, deleting case if we select the element and delete we have to select and delete for three times but if we go into node if we select the node and delete the nodes then everything can be deleted like this okay here three three slabs panel at the top are remaining by this way the structure can be modeled with the help of node in perform 3d in the next video we will learn how to assign the supports mass source for this structure constraint assigning frames so keep watching this video and comment like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye